When I was growing up, I, I knew this couple, man, who was raising their family in the church. They was a real godly couple, man, and they had four boys, but sadly, man, the father got sick one day. He died. I think he died of asbestos or something, so the mother had to raise all four boys. Now, you know, it's hard enough for a woman to raise one child. She had four sons to raise by herself, so she did the best she could, but the oldest one, he was in the gangs. He got out of hand. The second, the oldest, when he was in the streets, he wanted to hustle. But the third, when he was I, right, he went to school, he graduated from college, he was doing good. But the youngest one, being that he was younger, everything mama did, he did. Mama cleaned, he cleaned. Mama cooked, he cooked. Mama prayed, he prayed. So it came one day that mama got sick too and she knew she was about to die, so she told her son, she called him around the bedside, she said, look, God's about to call me home, I want you to learn your lesson. So they all vowed that they would learn their lesson, so mama died. So a year later, it was a storm outside, and all the sons realized that in the storm, it was the presence of God. So they got on their knees from oldest to youngest. So he approached them. First, he went to the one that was in the streets rumbling. It is said in my word, I shall return. Now I asked my son, what have you learned? He said, God, where well, I learned to rumble, because it's real in the field, in the streets of jungle. And God says, son, man must be humble. Though I won't let you fall, you still can stumble. So he put his head down. So then he went to the one that was hustling. He said, God, why well, learn to hustle? You didn't put man here for his family to suffer. And God says, son, first learn to struggle. I allow hard time because it builds you muscle. So he put his head down. Then he went to the one that was in college. He was proud. He said, God, well, I learned to speak. I got people lining up just to hear me teach. And God says, son, first learn to listen. Because to hear my voice, you must be paying attention. Then he put his head down. So he went to the youngest one. And he ain't never say nothing. So God reintroduced himself. He said, it is said in my word, I shall return. Now I ask my son, what have you learned? And the others looked at him and they started to fear because he had his head down speaking, but he could not hear. So the oldest said, speak aloud and tell God what you're saying. And God said, I can hear him because my son is praying. So he lifted up his head and he started to cry. He looked at his brothers and he told them why. He said, I learned to thank God just for being alive because for me to have life, Christ had to die. So when the Lord our God heard this confession, he reached in the bag and started to pour out blessings. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you in heaven because you, my son, have learned your lesson. Thank you.